Okay, this is a training program where we're working with Title Deco Pro. The version I'm using here for the training is version 2.0. Now, this is installed as a plug in on Avid Liquid 7.2. Now, if you know the history of Title Deco Pro, you know that it's, this was worked uh, originally designed to work with the Pinnacle Liquid, and then, of course, when Avid bought out uh, Pinnacle Liquid, they uh, had it using they used it for a while with um, uh, avid liquid so let's let's get started right now so we're going to close this out now this is the interface for avid liquid and it's already installed like i said as a plug in here so let's bring up the title program right now so here's our title program now this is the, the way this this uh, the, the default appearance of this will will look Mainly, even the older versions going back before the 2.0 it look very similar to this. Uh, the only thing you're going to see probably that's different is the preset style right here where my cursor is pointed. These are my preset styles. Uh, you'd be seeing the default ones. Everything else is actually the default setting though. Now, the, the first thing we want to do because uh, this program we're working with stills right now. Uh, w this this the, the the value of this program is in its layers, and you can kind of create some fantastic titles if you work with the layer aspect of this program. And you got a default layer up here, so what we want to do we want to add several layers here and not just use one layer. So we want to get rid of this uh, default layer and start putting in many more layers as we play around with this thing. Okay, let's get rid of it. And the way you do this, go to Tools here, and you put your uh, cursor over that when it says Enable Moving comes up, and left click, go over to, you see this white frame that's around here. Now, if you put this cursor right on that white frame, and it brings this, this little Move uh, cursor to come up here, and and uh, so that tells you now that it's, it's active and to delete this layer you press the delete key and that's pretty simple to do now to create a new layer here or multiple layers the way you do it is go over here to the tool um, bar here and you click on that left click and you can start either from the left side moving over as we just did and then you can start typing like we can type test one now you see that where you got a font here and where that font come from well uh, everything was set to defaults here it's picking up the current default font and then that's always right here again you can see where the cursor is pointing down here and uh, it picks up that image as the default now we want to create another layer we go up here again left click and then you can go over this direction and create another one and we just call that test two and let's create another layer go over here and do this okay we call this test three now once you've got layers created and uh, you can start playing around now with your fonts in those layers like we uh, this is the 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 uh, current layer that's highlighted, so that's the one with which we're going to work, the one that's already highlighted. And uh, the, let's say we want to change the color on this. The color is changed in, a, in an interesting way on here, and if you don't understand this, you'll you know you, you, this is the whole thing. First of all, this program works with what is highlighted, and you see this little bar here and this little arrow here this is the carriage return and you see that the, these all have dittos around them this has the whole white frame put around it so that's the one with which we're working we go over here let's say we want to change the color now if we want we like that green we left click on that and then you go up here to color and you right click on it it doesn't do anything now what happened there why didn't it change if we hit behind the bar and let's do that now left click right click still doesn't do anything 
we've got to have this shown in there. Left click, right click. That's why it doesn't do anything. You've got to have a highlighted part here, this little ditto effect, for it to work. So if you look here, you see the current font, current color, and you see the that we're working with this layer right here. You go up here, you left click here, and this little circle comes around there, and we want to change the color. Left click, right, and we go behind here again. Let's change the color here. Left click, right. All right, we've got three colors here. Now, you can't move layers without doing one thing here with the keyboard. If you try to move these layers, don't you can't really move the layers. As you, know, you can see, like, let's try this. Uh, you can start off trying to move this layer down to here, but we still got the layer. The carriage return is up here didn't move. It's not moving. Oh, that's a big problem. And we try to do, well, let's go down here and try to do it. Uncle, Uncle we didn't even get this to show up here. That's, that's, what in the world's, uh, it, 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 people at this time said, but the program's too difficult. I, I can't work with it. Well, you need to know that the way you move layers is by your keyboard. And it's, again, it's, if you know this, you've got so much of the program mastered because you know how you can move your layers. If you look at your keyboard, you got a page up, page down key. And let's just press that right now. We, I'm hitting the page up right here. That's moving around. But what it does, now this is highlighted here, and when you go down to this, You'll see that when you put your cursor in here, look at there, you've got the move cursor here. So, wow, you can take that. Now look, that's actually moving that. See, big difference there, big difference. But how are you gonna do here? Well, you hit your page up key, and well, it jumped up there, but you can move it down to there. Again, notice your cursor, you can move this. See, that's the way you do it. Again, hit the page up key, and it's wherever you see if you know if you get this uh, this uh, move as those are the four arrows pointing out then you can move these around and do, do whatever you want to do this is all one layer here we have here all one layer and the way we move that layer is again by using the page up page down key wow it's picking the whole thing up look at that now let's use the page up again so you can move that up there Go down here, page down, page up, whatever. Main thing is that you can now move these different layers here. Now, so that's the way you move your layers around on um, with the Title Deco Pro program.